we had a, another very solid and good third quarter. Actually, sales were 12% above last year's third quarter. And earnings, if you compare it without the Libya effect, where we have a lack of production, also were above last year's numbers, which I think is quite an achievement. And I'd like to thank all of our employees for this performance. Actually, it was a busy quarter. We had some major projects underway. But uh, first of all, what we did achieve was we continued to grow in our chemical business, very, very important. And we kept prices high, which is also important for our margin. Again, that's an extraordinary performance. Then we had a couple of major milestones. Uh, the first one is certainly uh, the creation of our new joint venture, Starolution, two parents, Ineos and BSF, for the Starenix business. It started on October 1st. I'm sure it will be a big, big success. It will be the biggest player in that particular industry. Then we found a solution for our fertilizer business in Antwerp, where we have now a contract in place with a new partner, Eurochem. I'm sure they will be a good, long-term, reliable partner for our folks in Antwerp. And for them, fertilizer is really the core business. Not to forget about China. Uh, as you know, we are in the midst of expanding our Nanjing site, a major undertaking. A couple of investments already went on stream, on time, on budget, and the remaining plants will follow until the end of the year. And finally, Libya, uh, to our surprise, we were able to start up our production both offshore and onshore much quicker than we had expected. Uh, it's too early to say how quickly we can ramp up production, but we are back in business in Libya as well. I think it's pretty clear that today the uncertainty is much higher than three or six months ago. The simple reasons we all know, it's the debt crisis in Europe and the United States, and the uncertainty of whether the politicians will really come up with a decent solution for the current problems we are facing, which means we will continue to grow, albeit a little bit slower than what we have seen in the past. We will try to keep our prices high and still make our customers happy. All in all, I would say we can confirm our outlook, which we have always given for the entire year, which means we want to exceed last year's numbers in terms of sales and earnings significantly. Actually, the strategic development of BSF is an ongoing process. Um, it's an evolution. We have worked on this for quite some time. Um, we will build BSF continuously in incremental steps. That's what's going on. Uh, we are in the midst of the analysis and defining the measures. And we will talk about this uh, more loudly with our employees and also with the public uh, at the end of this month.